The stock of Facebook dropped 7% on Monday after it was revealed that 50 million users' data was given to a company called Cambridge Analytica, which was connected to the Trump campaign. Now, this is the largest percentage drop in Facebook's value in over four years. Even after Monday's plunge, Facebook is still one of the nation's most valuable companies with a market cap of about $5 billion. It's behind only Apple, Google Parent Alphabet, Amazon, Microsoft, and even with Berkshire Hathaway. Mark Zuckerberg holds about 400 million shares of Facebook and his net worth plunged by about $5 billion Monday afternoon. Shares closed the day down at 12.53. Of course, even with the single day drop of his holding, Zuckerberg still owns about $70 billion worth of Facebook shares. That's enough to make him the sixth richest man in the world according to Forbes real-time billionaire tracker. Now, the stock plunge took place after it was suggested by many people in governments uh, in many Western countries saying that some kind of regulation was needed on Facebook to protect users' data. Now, this came about as a result of a whistleblower in Canada who informed not only the government but the public that their information had actually been given to Cambridge Analytica. And this is a controversy considering this was a company that was in line with and worked with the Donald Trump campaign. This user data may have been illegally given to them to try to give uh, targeted ads or may be part of some kind of manipulation scheme. Interestingly, Zuckerberg sold off 2 million shares of his own Facebook stock in recent weeks. It causes concern that maybe he used forehand knowledge of the coming scandal. Now, this is a big deal in terms of privacy for Facebook users, not only that, but uh, digital users' privacy in general. This is a major leak of information 50 million people had been given to a presidential campaign to be used. And knowing that it's a presidential campaign, it's not going to be used. We know it's not going to be used ethically. What's in question is an app that was that was given out and people installed. And usually on these apps, it's it informs you that your data will be used. Uh, we collect your face, we collect your name, we collect your age, we collect your email address, etc. That contract, which which is or that disclaimer that's put in ahead of the app may not have been adequate to share legally that information with Cambridge Analytica. And that's the question that's being called up right here. And many uh, governments in the West are now concerned about this and many of them are calling for uh, possibly some form of regulation over user data, which would end, end up putting regulation on Facebook, which is what caused its stock price to go down. But what's interesting here is that this is possibly the least controversial exposure of Facebook user data. The NSA and the FBI have been using Facebook data for years. In fact, the NSA has been snooping in on Americans' lives, not only using their own connection to the internet, uh, going to their uh, internet provider and getting that information, but they've been tracking people on Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg is known to give information over to the NSA. But there was no outrage from the mainstream media when this was happening. Maybe a few small outlets had a problem. Uh, one of the bigger ones are being RT. But in general, the mainstream media basically looked absolutely the wrong way. But now that it's possibly the Trump administration who got a hold of that user's information, or more specifically the Trump campaign, now there's a great deal of outrage by the mainstream media who are calling for regulation over this data. I guess that's a way of a large section of the capitalist class to tell Mark Zuckerberg that they're not very happy with this, that it's happened. And possibly this is all, 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 one of those things that may be used against Donald Trump in the future with the allegations that Russia interfered with the U.S. presidential election, collecting user data for whatever reason it was used for, that information hasn't been made publicly available yet, exactly what they did with all the data that they got from Facebook users. All well, that's still to be revealed to us. Uh, many governments are calling for an investigation immediately. Uh, the Privacy Commissioner of Canada has uh, personally contacted Mark Zuckerberg and demanded some answers, and investigations are now underway. And Mark Zuckerberg says he welcomes the investigation uh, to find out what happened and to make sure that kind of thing. And of course, Facebook denies any wrongdoing. But to see this as like the most uh, terrible news about a data leak is is frankly incorrect. 
the real threat is not really so much from a presidential campaign, but from the intelligence agencies that abuse that power to forward the interests of the capitalist class. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.